feel all right on your head? Yep. Okay, so this we're going to pull down. I'm going to pull it back. Around you. And we'll go around a couple times. Okay. Excited for the summer? Yep. You got big plans? Yep. This is called propolis. And these are sort of like cement that the bees make and they coat around their hive. But it also has a lot of antibacterial and antifungal and antibiotic qualities to it. So it makes good tinctures as well. Cement and glue, but it's actually quite beneficial. Everything for the hive has. pretty busy you know the work continues on even though the queen isn't there and uh, as soon as the pheromones that the queen uh, emits start to dissipate or disappear they'll start work on uh, making a new queen but today we're going to introduce a queen that we've purchased that uh, was just packaged up uh, a day ago and uh, we're going to introduce her to the hive today. Because this hive was looking very healthy before the queen died, um, we were thinking about putting a super, which is where the uh, bees are going to put the honey. The honey section and lay eggs. She's going to stay down in the brood box and keep all the eggs down there so that the honey stays clean and, and fresh. So. They look very calm. We're going to be looking for a part of the hive where there's already lots of eggs and what they call brood. So I'm going to lift this straight up as I can so as not to disturb them any more than I have to. And this is very full nectar, lots of nectar, small box. So in here we have a couple, the queen, which is the biggest one, she's kind of lighter brown, it's hard to see with this light, and a couple of attendants. So right now... Mishka, do you want to give the puffer just a little go, just to make sure it looks like it's good, just to keep it going more. These are uh, larvae capped. So she was doing a great job before she passed away. So look under here, we have some queen. They were trying to build their own... Queens. Queens. Over here so down here. We might I'm just give them, open them up a little bit because um, we don't want too many queens in there. They might swarm if another queen came out. Mm. Actually, a lot of those are kind of open, which shows that it's just um, got royal jelly. They're called there. queen cups, and they're royal jelly that's they would feed the baby larva. If they're only fed royal jelly, they turn into a queen. Perfect. So there is a sugar cap in there that the bees will slowly eat away over the next few days. That the time that it takes to eat that up, uh, her pheromones will go into the hive and she'll hopefully be accepted by the other bees. Eat away. So. protected now. It's actually great that she's in the cage because she can't get squished. See how they're all going around and smelling her and checking her out. So first of all, right now she's a bit of an intruder, but if they, they're also smelling her pheromones and recognizing her as a queen. So when we put the lid on, we don't crush it. And we're going to uh, make a note that today is the day we re-queen. Over the next few days, the bees are going to eat their uh, way through to the queen through that candy cap. But we don't want to uh, 
touch them. We, we want to give them a chance to settle down, so it will be a week. Yeah. And that's it. The queen is dead. Long live the queen. <laughs> Hey Mishka, you have a bee on your uh, bee uh, keeper's <laughs> thing. What do we do? Uh, nothing, it's fine. <laughs> You're safe. Let me just, there you go. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, that went well, huh?